Hey guys, Cha Chan here. In today's video, I thought we could have a look at how to sculpt your own Kigurumi mask. Keep in mind, I'm also kind of a beginner when it comes to Kigus, but I thought I could at least kind of give you some hints, some tips, I guess. Uh, as a business, I legally cannot give advice, but I think it's a bit different for an art business, you know? It's not like I'm do doing your finances or anything. Anyway, so. I'm using a program called Sculptress, which is free, which is uh, very nice. I like a free program. And uh, there's no set rule on your face shape, just make something that you like. I find that when I'm sculpting a face, uh, keep in mind I am a beginner, I like to kind of figure out the eye shape and where I'm placing my nose. Just do a little thing. What, what kind of face do we want? Do we want to smile? Do we want a little smiling face. That, that's kind of ugly. <laughs> what kind of face should we have? There we go, that can be our base. Very, um, 2000s anime face shape there. So here's our base. Sometimes you might find it helpful to sketch in like all the eyes and the eyelashes and everything like that. Uh, I often do, but I'm quite happy with that eye shape. Now, so far our face is quite flat. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, sculpt a face and then we can uh, hollow it out to together and I can show you how I do that. Keep in mind, I am also a beginner at this, so yeah. Anyway, let's go and uh, make a kigu. <laughs> Look at that nose. <laughs> just popping in to say that sometimes you'll just have to erase parts of your model like the mouth there. I wasn't happy with it once I uh, extended the nose there. It's going to be a lot of back and forth sculpting but uh, just you know if you like it then that's all that matters uh, unless you are sculpting for a client in which case your client has to like it. <laughs> um, but you know, make sure you're checking all the angles and you think, oh that bit needs like needs some cheeks adding there and you know, it's it's very back and forth, but you'll get there eventually. Just don't rush it, take your time with it. Uh keep in mind Sculptress is a lot easier to use than other programs. I have only ever really used Sculptress and a, a little bit of mesh mixer. But we'll we'll show you me mesh mixer in a few minutes once I've sculpted a face. Alright. Back to the time lapse. Okay, so if you've finished your sculpt, I mean, this is uh, not, it's not my favourite sculpt I've ever done, but it was like a 10-20 minute thing just to, you know, show you what to sort of do. <laughs> anyway, so, now you've got this, you will need to export it to a different program. This is just the way I do it. I have two free programs that I use because I'm a bit cheap. <laughs> so did this in Sculptress, which is free. So then you'll want to export. So let's export. And I'm going to save it in my Kigu file. I'm just going to call it tutorial. And then this one we will call one. Okay, so we've exported one. Then you will need to close Sculptress, and then you will open Mesh Mixer and import the file that you want. So 
Here we go. All right, we're in Mesh Mixer. My tablet doesn't work with Mesh Mixer for some reason. I think it's a plug-in problem. So I've got my mask in here, my interestingly sculpted mask. So we're gonna click Select and uh, click Symmetry. Turn the symmetry on and maybe put the size up a bit. Maybe not. Anyway, if you want to start selecting, just kind of select an area that you think will work well so you can get your face in the mask. <laughs> Make sure not to get any of the ears in there. And there we go. I want to impress control and, well, sorry, shift. Impress shift to remove some of your selection if you're not happy with it. So I'm just gonna. There we go. I want to have a bit of um, scalp on the top just so it's a bit easier to build my uh, back of the head later. Alright. So then we finish selecting it all. And then I'm going to go to edit. No, I'm not sorry. I'm gonna go to modify. <laughs> And then smooth boundary, which has the shortcut B, apparently. So then you might want to mess with these little things just to get the best uh, smooth line going. Because sometimes it can be a bit jagged. Alright, click accept. And then we're going to go to edit and erase and fill. Now at first it will, um, or it might, bulge out like this. We don't want that. So we're gonna mess around with these little scales here, just to get it how we want. Oh dear, maybe I won't mess with scale. Go back, go back, go back to how you were. I'll, uh, I'll redo that one. <laughs> Erase and fill. Obviously, having some problems with the polygons down near the chin. <laughs> Alright, but that, you know, that's that's the general gist of things. There it is. Not my uh, most easy mask to work with. I guess I have some polygon issues down at the front there. But anyway, click accept. Uh, it is a bit jagged, but you know, you can smooth that out later. Alright, and now clear selection. Here we have a mask. And now I'm going to go back into Sculptress, so I'll have to export again, and I will export this one in tutorial. Oh, my time is going off. My hot glue gun is ready to be used. I'm uh, multitasking here. <laughs> I'm filming this tutorial while I'm doing my actual work. And also there's um, power tools being used outside, so not the most ideal situation, but that's all right. Okay, we export two. Then we close, close Mesh Mixer, don't need to save it. And we go into Sculptress. Now, there are easy ways to do this. I'm sure there are better ways to, you know, not have to go back and forth between programs, but this is the way I'm doing it. All right, so you've selected, you've got your model, you need to turn Symmetry back on, and uh, then you need to copy this part of the mask, the main part, and just paste one of them, and uh, just move that there, and let's hide that a second. So then you're going to go over here, and you're going to smooth out these details, because we don't need those here for this particular thing, maybe get rid of some of those polygons down there, don't need all those polygons here. All right, there's a mask, I'm also going to fill out this part back here. You don't normally have to do this, but uh, this mask was being a bit um, finicky. So anyway, that that's fine. That's going to work for this purpose here. All right, let's bring that back. Then we're going to move this mask in there. And also make it a bit smaller. And move it again. 
just you know get it get it in there make sure it's you got a nice um thin but sturdy looking wall around the edge of it I'm not really explaining what I'm doing I'm just kind of showing you what I'm doing <laughs> I'm also trying to make sure that uh, I can <laughs> I can uh, get hold of this mask when it's back out. So yeah, there we go. Uh, yes. Now what do we do? So we have our mask and this here that uh, I'm not doing very well with my words. All right. So you've done you've done this step. Now you need to get rid of these things. So those are gone, and we're going to export this. And I would export this as something you know what it's called, such as um, blank, I guess. Sure, that'll do. So, here's our blank. Now, we close Sculptress again, we don't need to save it. We open Mesh Mixer again, and we import, we import Mask 2, the one that we've done uh, this bit to. And then we also import again, and you put append so you add things and then we have two now we have this thing that we made before all right so you've got these things in you may find that you are going to need to separate some of the uh, entities objects here so to separate things double click them and uh, select them like that and then go to edit and separate. You will also want to make a duplicate of blank. So now we have all of the things that we need. So I'm going very quickly but I do have a lot of work to do. <laughs> all right so we have these things. Now what we do is we press shift on our keyboard and we click the first item. We click the face and oh sorry I should have hidden one of these blanks. Okay so we click shift click our face and then we click our hollowing thing and we click boolean difference and it should look like that so if it's looking good if it's purple and orange then you click accept and now we have a hollow mask and then because the ears are like that we're gonna do the same thing for the ears so we'll click shift and then our second one boolean difference and press accept now we do also need to join these two again, so we do boolean union. If it's gonna work, is it gonna work? It's not gonna work because there's too many um, little intersecting places. So what we might want to do now is go to analysis. Uh, where are we doing? We can only do one analysis for inspector, and auto repair all. Do that on both models, it may or may not work. Alright, now let's see if we can Boolean Union or not. Why can't I Boolean Union? <laughs> We're having problems! Hmm. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Alright, well, let's try and export. Export. Maybe they're not joined together, but that's alright. That's three. Save. I'm not going to close that just in case something went wrong, but we're going to go to Sculptress and import three new scene. Okay, there we go, it worked. I didn't need to join them, I just needed to select both models and export them. Okay, so this mask is hollow. I'm going to go and use the hot glue gun because that is ready for me to use, and then I will be back. Okay, so we have our mask ready to cut out the eye and mouth hole. So now we've got symmetry. Turn symmetry on and then we're gonna make a couple new spheres and make them a bit smaller so we can see what we're doing. And then, can you see where this is going? <laughs> we are going to make sure they go to both sides there. Now we're going to grab our grab tool on them. Um, not global. And we're just gonna kind of sculpt little, uh, what would you call these, like hollowing tools, I guess. 
just uh, pull our circles into the right shape so that we can cut the correct shaped holes from our model. I'm sure there is an easy way to do this, but this is the the way that's worked for me so far. So uh, maybe one day I'll figure out how to do this like actually properly. But if you're like me and uh, you don't really have the time, patience or energy to learn like Blender or anything like that, uh, then Sculptress is the next best thing. <laughs> well, not really, it's actually nowhere near as good as Blender in terms of what you can do, but it's it's usable. I mean, I'm making my models in it, and I'm making my Kigus in it with my Mesh Mixer as support. Uh, we, can, we can kind of fix up some of these rough edges later, it'll be fine. But as long as we have the general eye shape kind of all sculpted in there and press the hide button see if anything is looking really off maybe over there I don't know maybe the eyes are a bit far apart on this one normally I like them a bit more close together oh well okay well that should do it for the eyes now the mouth Oh, you'll also want to check that the back is looking all right, but you will be able to fix it up later. Right, uh, the mouth, come here, and... And uh, due to my lack of knowledge, this uh, mess of polygons happens over here. So to fix that, we uh, global grab and pull that out just like a couple of millimeters. It's not going to make much of a difference. So there we have it. Uh, now, <laughs> guess what time it is? It's uh, export object. And we're going to name this one for... It doesn't really matter what you name them as long as you can keep track. No. Who can guess what's going to happen next? That's right, we're going to Mesh Mixer! Yep, apparently I had a file that wasn't happening. Oh, apparently this crashed? I don't know. Oh, wait a minute, I'd never closed Mesh Mixer. What am I doing? <laughs> I never actually closed the old one. Alright, well, we can close this. Let's open Mesh Mixer again. <laughs> Alright, so we open four. And then what we will do is we will select, I'm going to select these and then separate. I think separate was Y. Yes, press Y. That separates them. Uh, and then I should be able to just click our first object, press shift, click our first object, keep holding shift, press our second object and boolean difference. There we go. Oh, maybe my walls are a bit stick on this one. Oh, we can we can fix that in Sculptress just with some smoothing out. So we've got our holes cut out here, and we click accept. There we go. So here's our sculpt, and we're going to export again. We can probably export this as fall, just like replace our old file. It should be fine. Don't see any problem with doing that. We can close that, don't save, don't need to, we already exported it. Um, and then we want to import our file again, new scene, there we go, there we have it. It is all cut out and ready to be uh, edited the last little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn symmetry on and then I'm going to smooth out some of these little things back here that I don't think are looking that great. That should be fine. Well, you know, for the purposes of this video, I think that kind of shows what we do. You'll want to um, kind of fix your rough edges down here 
you can do that with a bit of finagling, just uh, using the grab tool to create more polygons and smoothing it out. And just a bit of back and forth, you'll get there in the end. Keep in mind this is Sculptress, free program, maybe a little bit finicky to use if you're used to something a bit more fancy. I mean, if you have something more fancy, I'm sure you'll um, you know, be able to do this a lot more easily. <laughs> But this is uh, the cheap way of doing a uh, sculpted mask. So here we have Ikigu, sculpted by me. Very quick sculpt, let me just clarify. This took me like, what, 20 minutes and another 20 to just kind of go back and forth. Not even that, like, this is a half an hour mask that has been sculpted. So here it is. So let me say, uh, I'm not a professional and all of that. I don't know if this will print properly. I do not know if this will print properly. <laughs> but you can kind of use the techniques here to sculpt your own mask. And uh, if it doesn't work, don't blame me. <laughs> but I hope you found this kind of useful. I have sculpted a couple other masks using this technique. Let me just save this. I haven't actually saved this. Let me um, save this as final. Well, final enough for this video. I'll probably edit this mask just a little bit here and there. Let me show you the other masks that I've done. So here's another mask that I did. Uh, it's got these eyes in just for a bit of a... and the teeth and the tongue are just in there for visualization purposes, but you can see same kind of thing. Mask sculpted with ears and all hollowed out. There is one more. I also have this one, which is very 2000s-esque, kind of like the one we just made, but with a slightly different sculpt. So, yeah, you can kind of see, you can play around with the uh, shapes and the style that you're making. This one has massive eyes. <laughs> Maybe these eyes are a little bit too big, but you know, you get to see how it was done. If I, uh, oopsie. Maybe I can put some eyes in here quickly just to show you what you can kind of do with it. So you can kind of sculpt little details in. You you know, if you if you did the mask up it wouldn't look quite so terrifying. Um yeah. So there you go. That's how you um sculpt a mask if you're me and you don't really know what you're doing. So I hope you found this helpful. I'm going to go because I don't know how long this video is. I've got to edit it yet. So um, yeah, I'm going to go back to work. Now that I've finished my hot gluing, I now have to redo something because I didn't do it right. <laughs> That's my own fault. Uh, prototyping, making my own things. I'm quite tired today. All right, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. No guarantee I'll be able to answer because I really don't know much about 3D sculpting, but there's no Kigu tutorials really out there, so... Well, there's a few, but, you know, I've done my own. Here it is. You're on your own for 3D printing, though I don't know anything about that, so don't ask. <laughs> Alright, uh, maybe next time on my Kigu videos we can have a look at how to uh, prepare and smooth a 3D printed surface, which there are other tutorials for, but, you know, we'll, we'll do one ourselves. Alright, thanks for watching, please don't hit the like button as that probably hurts and not very nice, so maybe shake his hand instead. With that being said, hope to see you in the next one, and bye!